just a couple of miles separate Entebbe International Airport from the military airport built in the 1960s by Israeli constructors. For the members of this French Jewish delegation, the visit to the site of the legendary Israeli raid is a pilgrimage of sorts, a duty of remembrance. Francis Kaufman's brother, Jacques, and his wife, Diane, were amongst the French hostages who were released prior to the Israeli operation. There's a lot of emotions. My brother and my sister-in-law kind of remembered it as an adventure. Well, apart from difficult moments they went through. They asked themselves whether they should stay, but they were afraid of being killed. Three Israeli hostages perished in the exchange of fire as the elite Israeli commandos stormed the terminal. A fourth hostage, Dora Bloch, was bedridden at Mulago Hospital, Kampala. She was murdered in cold blood by Ugandan dictator Idi Amin's henchmen. Dr. Kimalan Subuga was charged to identify the victim's body. I went to the police, found a lady on her back, burned. They poured on some petrol and they lit fire. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. So I told the policeman, cover up. A week later, guys came for me. The soldiers. I took off. <laughs> the airstrip, the bullet holes on the wall of the control tower, the scars, it's all there as if frozen in time. For years, the relationship between the two countries has crystallized around one man, Idi Amin, and one event, what happened here in 1976. For one of Idi Amin's son, the despot, deposed in 1979, was naive, Israel's obsessive friend, Israel's sworn enemy. The beginning of the fall was actually the, the humiliation of 76 years. Why would the Ugandans commemorate a raid that cost the lives of 20 of their soldiers? We are in a country where people obviously admire Israel for one episode that ridiculed Uganda. Israel came that far to fetch their citizens. Idi Amin's defeat is Uganda's victory, say those who consider themselves the victim of a tyrant. For them, memory is above all an act of faith. For us, good feeling people, we knew it was wrong. Uh, because we knew that uh, Israel's are uh, children of God. So even Amin himself, we knew. On the shores of Lake Victoria, Entebbe's Aero Beach is a rather bizarre place for entertainment. Carcasses of Ugandan MiG fighter planes that were destroyed during the raid litter the premises. A statue of Benjamin Netanyahu's brother Yoni, killed in the raid, stands amidst those of Pan-African leaders of the time. The pulse of Ugandan dancehall music vibrates in the air. Not far from there, the delegation's representatives lay a wreath at the foot of the control tower. Press silently, one last bow in homage to the victims. One final kiss on this improvised wall of remembrance of a shared memory. Pierre Kloschendler, I-24 News, Entebbe, Uganda.